Hey fellow adventurers, welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play Divinity series. In the last episode, when we entered Fort Choi, we made a couple of new friends, but we also made a couple more new enemies. So let's find out where our adventure takes us today. Okay, so we had three people in our party last time. Let's um, let's move forward and see if there's anyone else we want to talk to right now. I'm pretty sure we had Losa around here somewhere. Let's talk to Losa. Losa, how are her names pronounced? As soon as I saw that glint in your eye, I knew we'd make a solid team. Um, I missed collect. Tell Ifen you're a bit lost in Fort Choi. What does he think you should do now? Well, I've got a contract to complete. After that, getting the hell out of Fort Misery seems the best option. <laughs> I figure we track down my inside man, and then we take it from there. Okay, so we have a lot of options here. First option, apologize for leaving him behind when the ship was sinking. Second, wonder about the little errand he mentioned. Who exactly is Ifen here to go? Uh, say you're curious about him, can you ask him a question? Escaping his thirsty work, offer Ifan a drink from your pack. Say you'd like to venture on alone, for now at least, not and take your leave, okay. Uh, let's offer him a drink. Seeming surprised, Ifan gladly takes the drink from your hands and downs a hefty glug. Ah, that hit the spot. Nice. Companion attitudes. Examine a companion to check their current attitude towards you. Beware the companion who really don't like you will take We'll leave your party. Okay. Oh, okay. That's good to know. So we can basically just oh, talk to all the companions out. and do the same for them if you want to. Accept and take a gluck. Decline, you want to keep your wits about you for the moment. Decline, tell I find that you don't drink. Let's accept it. The alcohol hits you like the void itself. Your head <laughs> spins and your feet feel unsteady. Suddenly, being stuck in a prison ruled by the despotic order doesn't strike you as the worst way to spend time. That's how they keep you under their thumb in prison. This reminds me of sharing Rotgut with Roost and the boys back at camp. <sighs> Wish they weren't so far. Oh man, he just wants to crack up on a cold one with the boys. So tell me, if we weren't stuck here, what would you be doing with your time? Um, sure you'd like an adventure. Tell him nothing would make you happier than farming a small plot of land. Say you'd quite fancy plant create in a bustling city. Tell him you always wanted a family. A mystic option, tell him you'd be seeking the truths beyond the known universe. Noble option, tell him you'd be enjoying the rewards of your forefathers' work. Um, let's see. I'd like an adventure. And what better adventure could there be than the one we're on, eh? True, true. Relic of flame. That brew went straight to my bladder. If you'll excuse me. <laughs> Is he just taking a leak right now? Okay, let's talk to her. Hey, I know you. Yes, you do. Losa, the dark-eyed jokester you met aboard the ship, waves enthusiastically and dips into a mock elegant curtsy. Back then I was <coughs> Madame Josephine Gribbles de Pube. And you were The guy you tried to make fun of? You. <laughs> Glad to see you made it. Nothing like a nice tentacle slap across the moor to set the tone for the week, eh? How'd you escape? Uh, say you're not sure you fell into the water and you were nearly lost. Tell her you tried to take an escape boat but you were knocked into the water. What happened after that, Will? You aren't sure. Let's go with the second option. Escape boat? I never even saw one. Guess I was knocked out cold. Yes, you were and I tried to loot your body. What about when you were in the water? Did you hear anything? Now tell her that there was a strange voice that seemed to want you to survive. Avoid answering, ask if she heard something unusual. Lie and say you didn't. You're a strong swimmer, though you made it to the shore alright. Uh, let's go with the second option. No. I mean, not more unusual than usual. It's just, I thought maybe you... Losa's voice catches in her throat. The joy drains from her face. Her eyes lose focus and her whole body goes rigid. She is stock still, waxy skinned, her eyes dark. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Is she like possessed or something? Because that's how it feels like. Gently call out to her and ask if she's alright. Slowly approach her and shake her shoulder. Leave her be. Let's, let's do the second option. 
Her head snaps to you mechanically, and her eyes lock with yours, dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Light suddenly flashes back into her face. The grey veins drain to pinkish flesh, and her whole body relaxes. Anyway, what were we talking about? Frown and ask why she's acting so strangely. Tell her you were discussing the shipwreck. You smell trouble here. Tell her you need to get going. Um, let's go with the second option. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. It was a shipwreck, all right. Not much more to say about it, I guess. Papa Joris used to tell me, Losa, he'd say. Losa, you ever find yourself in a sinking ship? Follow the rats. They'll find you a way out. Applies to a lot of situations, actually. Vermin tend to know what's what. Ask if she can explain what she was doing just a moment ago. Tell her her name sounds familiar. Ah, oh, it's nothing really. It's just... I'm just a bit... well, a bit... hospitable. Tell her she's going to have to elaborate. Uh, waggle a rackish eyebrow and ask if she's implying you should make yourself at home. <laughs> okay. Uh. Tell it like this. You've never been a host, I bet. That's because you're an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. That ain't bad, though. I'd give just about anything to be like you. But I'm a... a roadside inn. Red door, flowers out front, friendly lady at the door beckoning you in for half price. Oh? Like a god's damn gold star inn for the disembodied. Uh, Mr. Gafjan, say you may understand her better than she thinks. Ask her who or what she was hosting a few moments ago. Ask her <laughs> how many beings she's hosting at the moment. Okay, let's go with the second option. Now isn't that just the question of the hour? I can't be sure just yet. I'll be surprised if it's a demon. Definitely not a sprite either. Maybe a spectre, but I wouldn't bet money on it. Okay, so she's like a medium of sorts. So how are you enjoying the joy? Say the magisters hauled you in something about being a danger to yourself in society. Uh, say you heard the accommodation was exceptional and I had to see for yourself. Say it'd be all the more enjoyable if you had someone to get the lay of the land with. Let's go with the third option. Yeah? I was just thinking the same sort of thing. Oh? Really? So, you want to check this place out together? Strength in numbers and all that. Sure. And don't worry, by the by. I forgive you for leaving me to drown on that ship. Oh, here it comes. Okay. Uh, ask how she knows about that. Say you're sorry you didn't think anyone could be saved. Tell her she would have done the same in your shoes. Um, let's go with the second option. Surprise! We could have. But a few of us made it out in any case. One of those kids, too, told us all about it. But don't worry, manslaughter happens. Jesus, dude, I should actually go back and kill that fucking kid. It hasn't stopped me from thinking it'd be a good idea to travel together. What do you say? Oh, uh, say that sounds like a good idea. Hesitate, mention that you're not so sure about a travel companion with a otherworldly spirit inside her. Decline, you're better off by yourself. I think it sounds like a good idea. It does, right? Before we head out, I've got more than a few tricks up my sleeve. So you'll have to pick which one I'll pull out if, <laughs> when, push comes to shove. Okay. Lately I've been into the enchanting arts, but I can shoot, slash, summon, steal, whatever your little black heart desires. So, what'll it be? Should we go with enchanter or should we see if there's more magic we need? Let's go with enchanter actually, let's just check it out. Sounds fine. So, we're good to go? Not that subtle, it. Yep. Yeah? Well, that was easier than I thought. And I'll do my best to stay... myself. Lead the way. Okay. Nice. Um, who is that? Let's talk to Nibura. Amidst a crowd of screws, bolts and scraps of metal, the woman is manipulating a glove-like contraption fitted with five long metal skewers. She doesn't look up as you approach. And what you after? Ask her what she's making. Say she she seems pretty handy. Perhaps she can sell you something useful. Say you are new around here and would like to make her a contents. Take your leave. Uh, let's go with the third option. Get bed. <laughs> okay. Ask her what she's making. 
I ain't. Just seeing how it's made. She's clever, Dallas. Made these herself for those bodyguards of hers. Boy, they're sharp. She looks up. You looking to buy something? Ask her how she got her hands on a lot of those contraptions. They seem pretty dangerous. Ask her what she has for sale. Take your leave. Okay, let's ask her with the first question. Found it in the scrap heap not so long ago. Oh? We used to know each other back in the day, you know. Dallas and I. Who's Dallas? Never knew her to be much of a wrench head back in the day, but once she joined the order, she started turning out all manner of oddities. Oh, Dallas is the woman we first met when we were entering Fort Joy, the one who killed the lizard lady. Ask her, ask if it was Dallas who invented these god awful collars. Ask what she remembers of Dallas. Change the subject. Let's talk about the collars. She nods once. Oh, okay. You looking to buy something? Or do you just want to waste my time with a whole lot of questions? You sense she knows more than she's letting on. Say your collar is tight and ask if she can loosen it a bit. Ask if she knows how the collars are made. Ask what she remembers of Dallas. Change the subject. Let's go with the first option. For you? <laughs> Hell no. Uh, press the issue. She does know how to manipulate them though. Ask who might be worthy of her services. Change the subject and ask her, and ask to see her wares. Thank her anyway and leave. Roll her eyes and walk away. Let's see what we can actually do to make her remove these collars or whatever she can do for us. Worthy is exactly the right word. Yeah, someone who's proven himself might earn my time of day. Speaking of, you haven't, so buy or shove off. Okay, let's let's see what she has for sale. All manner of things. Have a look. Okay, let's sell the stuff you have right now. The star represents the trader's attitude towards you. The higher their attitude, the better their price. You can raise the trader's attitude by gifting items or gold. Oh. Oh. Let's just give her the broken source collar. Nice. Okay, so it's a plus one star now. Alright. So. Let's see if we can find anyone who can help us. Uh, remove these collars. Who is in here? Oh, she looks sick or something. Jesus, what's up with her? Leave me. <coughs> Go. Note her pallor and ask if she needs help. Do as she asks. She looks contagious. Say you'll fetch a doctor. She doesn't look well at all. Mystic, tell her not to fear, you have seen the other side and it's beautiful. Noble, another stinking peasant. Wear your nose in your handkerchief and hurry away. Um, let's go with the first option. You leave me be. Okay. Just... This bitch got corona, man. Alright. Okay. Holy shit. That was actually a not good idea. Our physical armor actually saved us. Oh, let's just go to the quest and see what there is we can do. Uh, let's talk to her. Amid the squalor of Fort Joy, you suddenly spot an elf with diamond features, regal and radiant, but cold too, and sharper than any knife. She was the one who sat rolling dice in the ship that went under, deciding fates with every roll, or so she said. Her eyes are focused on a lizard some distance away. And you get the distinct feeling he's an unfortunate man indeed to be trapped in her tiger-like gaze. Approach her and ask what has her so enamored with that lizard. Ask her what a guy has to do to earn that stare. Walk up to her and say hello. No sooner have these words left your mouth than she turns about and grabs you in a stranglehold. Oh, you oh, feel the tip of oh, a long needle being alone. pushed a little ways into your neck. Jesus, lady. You caught me off guard. No one catches me off guard. Better tell me who you really are, or this time, I'll let my needle do the licking. Command her to let you go this instant. Who the hell sh does she think she is attacking you like that? Tell her to take it easy. It wasn't your intention to startle her. Elf, so you're just another elf like her. Maybe a less temperamental one. 
Let's go with the less um, elf option. There is no other elf like oh, me. Oh, really? A push, a pivot, and now you suddenly face her. The needle still all too deeply embedded in the side of your throat. Despite the precariousness of your situation, you notice something that remained undetected in the gloom of the ship. A flaw in her diamond features. A curiously shaped scar on her left cheek. Ask her how she got that scar. Let me tell you a little story. Okay. Once upon a bad old time, a lizard cut this thing, this living scar, into my cheek. The mark of a slave. Oh. It must be the same lizard she's staring at. But now I'm free. Of sorts. And I've traced that lizard here. I intend to raise the subject with him. Find out that you're not that lizard. Politely ask her to move the needle so you and her can talk this over like civilized people. No! She drives the needle in deeper and whispers. In truth, it does not matter in the least who you really are. You saw me mark my prey. You could oh my God. Him, you need save to kill him, her. or kill him before I get my chance. That makes you a liability. That makes you needle feed. Okay, make her an offer. Instead of killing you, she could join you. This is going nowhere, but if there's going to be bloodshed, she should at least give you a chance to defend yourself. I don't really think I want this crazy lady on my party. Maybe we should kill her? Let's go with... let's make an offer and see. The bright sparkle of laughter follows your proposal. Ha! <laughs> How amusing. I admit I had not seen that twist coming. I was certain the pitiful begging was about to begin. Make your case and do it quickly. Why should I join you? Say you're planning your escape and you have need of people with talents like her. Um, sooner or later the magistrates will come for her, tell her she's she will not survive on her own. I will. She's too sure of herself. Tell her she should be thinking of teaming up and getting out of here. See, you've seen Dallas herself at work. No one is safe here. And so you seek to escape? <laughs> How you do tickle me. Most of the misguided deers around here would argue such a thing is impossible. Scoff and say that nothing is impossible. Assure her you're far from a misguided deer. I'm inclined to agree. You managed to catch me off guard, after all. Oh, little needle mine, what should I do? Push or pull? You know what? Today is a rather fine day. Sunshine and an easy breeze. Yes, I'll let you live. I'll even agree to travel with you, provided we talk to that lizard I mentioned. She's gonna fight that lizard, probably. I'm not quite sure the weather will save him. Okay. With a casual flick of the wrist, she withdraws the needle from your neck and smiles, as if she just invited you to sit down for tea. Let's discuss our respective roles then, shall we? You, me, and Death will be playing many a round of hide-and-seek. So, what role would you like me to play? As a rogue, my speciality is stealth, the quick silence of the dagger striking unseen. That said, I'm perfectly lethal wielding any weapon or magic. So, the choice is yours. We have an enchanter. We have a wayfarer. I think that's what Ifan is. And we have a fighter. Um, let's go with the rogue. I kind of want to keep the characters at their original class to see how it goes. Suits me fine. Then follow me. But wait. You seem to have quite a few followers already. We'll be far too conspicuous traveling in a caravan like that. Return to me once you've culled a couple. Okay. Yeah, lady, I don't think I'm gonna be returning to you anytime soon. Okay, let's see. So this is Fort Joy. Let me guess. You're ready for a match. Don't know what you heard, but they won't take it easy on you just because you're an elf. Ask what she means. What sort of matches are held here? Elf, say you should hope not if they, whoever they are, wish to remain undigested. <laughs> Take your leave. Uh, let's ask, let's go with the first option. You'll find out. Down the hatch then. Who is that? Psst. Hey, down here. You're a little light in your pack, ain't you? 
Who could blame you with the garbage they've got for sale around here? All right. Let's equip ourselves with some goodies. Nice. I don't feel so naked anymore. Let's go down the hatch. Nice. Have you leveled up yet? Oh yes, we have. Okay. We do have quite a bit more points than we did last time. Let's go with Lucky Charm. Let's go with Intelligence because we're going to be a ranged character. Maybe some Constitution. Okay, um... We'll save the weapon points or like the skill points for now and see what kind of skills we can actually manage to get. Oh, he can level 2. He's a fighter, right? Oh, we can also give them civil abilities. Okay, he can persuade people. He can also barter, so maybe I should just make him do the bartering stuff. That might be actually better. I'm gonna give him more strength and some more constitution. What kind of weapon does he use? Knife and a stick and a shield. Okay, let's see. Peace Warper. Persuasion. Bartering. Let's go with Bartering. Okay. Tola the Thorny One. Carson the Snickering One. Seb the Burnished One. Mia the Faithful One. Ivor, the vast one. Okay. Let's talk to Tola. You come to fight. You come to prove yourself. You come to be worthy. There can be only one. And you have but one chance. Ask her what you're meant to prove here. Ascent, you want to fight. Excuse yourself, you'll fight no one now. Oh, uh, this is the arena. Um, let's go with the first option. She scoffs. To prove you are the one. <laughs> Ask her to explain the one what. Say you're not here to prove anything to her or anyone else. Let's go with the first option. Never mind. The one does not ask such a question. Uh, let's go with the first option. Ascent, you want to fight. Good. Who aids you? Choose wisely. Whether you fail or succeed, you do not fight more than once. Say no one will aid you, you wish to fight alone. Say you'd like your nearby party members to join you. They are at your command. Change your mind, you'll fight no one now. Let's go with the second option. Oh, okay, this started real quick. Who's the first one? Okay, it's Losa. Hail strike, electric discharge. Okay, these two are the only ones here. Electric Discharge. Let's go with this. Oh. Jesus, he blinded us. Okay, it's turn of the lizard. He's gonna attack him. Oh, there's more than one person. Oh yeah. There's actually more than I thought. Oh my god. Let's go around here first. Okay. My turn. Let's get up top here. Um. 
Right, let's go to the sphere and daggers. Okay, target is too far. Is there anyone close to me? I don't want to throw water down here, to be honest. Oh my god, I can't really do anything now, can I? Um. Oh, what? I was trying to throw the poison bottle, but I drank it instead. That was a huge misclick, dude. Oh my god. Oh my god. Can't believe I actually drank poison. I thought I could just throw this. Okay, I had to heal. This should be better. Okay, whose turn is it now? It's Losa's turn. Come on, get out of the fire. Good. Creed is spreading water surface. Does this fire. Okay, this is better. Whew, okay. Fire's gone. Can she actually attack him? No, she can't attack them. Let's encourage the allies. Okay. Jesus, she's about to die. Okay, what can he do? Harmless looking bottle, deep 5 to 6 damage, and 2 meter radius. Okay, this should be better. That's 45. Okay. My party is dead. I'm gonna die next. Okay, it's all up to me. I can do this. Nice. Let's um, kill this fucker. They're level 3 and I'm level 2. This is the reason we're losing this fight so far. Lot of damage. Oh, they're gonna gangbang me now. <laughs> no. Oh, uh, he missed. The arena for joy, and I'm dead. Nice. Yeah, we are not strong enough to fight in the arena right now. Uh, let's get out of the arena. Alright guys, that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you can press the like button below. And if you are new to this channel, you can also subscribe to it for more similar content and the upcoming episodes. Also, be sure to check out episode 5 tomorrow. I'll see you guys next time. Till then, take care, stay safe, and I hope you all have a great day.